Kelly Blue Book, we like the current generation Ford Fusion. Following a 2017 mid-cycle refresh that updated the exterior, interior, and infotainment system, we like the Fusion even more. But are all those changes enough to hold off the Fusion's innumerable competitors? How about we start inside? The interior looks great and in many places feels great. This soft knee rest, for example. But cheaper plastic also appears in spots, and soft stickers meant to quiet the glove compartment and center console cover seem like tacked on afterthoughts. That said, if you've got the cash, the Zooty Fusion Platinum's premium leather seats, stitched dash, and contrasting piping really do crank up the class. Regardless of trim, the Fusion's rotary gear selector looks sharp and works with zero confusion. See, it uh, rotates. I'm in neutral now. For carrying people, the Fusion has pluses and minuses. Front seats are comfortable, but we noticed fewer pressure points sitting in the Kia Optima. In terms of size, the Fusion isn't the most spacious mid-size sedan, but it is perfectly inhabitable. I will say that as an average sized guy with a long torso, my head barely brushes the headliner in the outboard and middle positions. This wouldn't be a problem if I slouched like the cool kids. <laughs> it's more of a more of a Al Bundy thing, huh? <laughs> no pig. Then again, slouching accentuates the Fusion's average rear seat legroom, making slightly must hair the preferable choice. As for trunk space, there are more cubic feet in a Fusion than in an Accord or Camry, and the gooseneck hinges are smartly covered, protecting your precious cargo from inadvertent crushing. Pick up a hat rack from the hat rack store over in the hat rack district, and the Fusion's standard wide aperture fold-down seats will save the day. Focus on the superficial, and the Fusion makes a strong statement. Behind that sassy grill lies a cornucopia of powertrain choices. Gear changes on all non-hybrid trims come courtesy of a competent six-speed automatic transmission. Beyond a base 2.5-liter four-cylinder, buyers can choose from a similarly powerful 1.5-liter turbocharged engine, offering somewhat better fuel economy and a not wholly off-putting automatic engine start-stop system, or a turbocharged 2-liter that's roughly as efficient as the base engine. As a bonus, the 2-liter can be paired with optional all-wheel drive, a feature rarely found on mid-sized sedans lacking a Subaru badge. Truth be told, compared to let's say a Chevy Malibu, Honda Accord, or Nissan Altima, the Fusion's fuel economy is pretty underwhelming. If that's a major concern, then consider the Fusion Hybrid and plug-in Hybrid Energy, each delivering the kind of artificial regenerative brake feel that makes Earth-conscious car buyers want to roll coal. On a more positive note, the Fusion Hybrid daintily sips fuel while producing a robust 188 total horsepower. The Energy plug-in matches the standard hybrid's efficiency, but before using any gasoline, it offers 21 miles of pure electric range, and depending on where you live, carpool access. Sweet, sweet carpool access. Note, the hybrid's battery reduces trunk space by 25%, and the Energy plug-in is a full 50% smaller trunk space-wise than the standard Fusion, leaving you just enough space for your clean conscience. Finally, there's the aptly named Fusion Sport, whose performance-tuned adaptive dampers generate lateral excitement, while its 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 and all-wheel drive system handle the longitudinal thrills. Sport aside, even the more prosaic Fusion trims have the potential to excite. This Fusion SE drives with a distinctly sporting feel. The steering is quick, but not too quick, and it hustles through corners with athleticism uncommon among mid-sized sedans. At the same time, interior noise is well controlled and ride quality is quite good. Ford has managed to merge fun and comfort into a single attractive sedan. Neat including destination charges, pricing for a base Ford Fusion S trim starts at about $23,000, with the Sport and Platinum trims ringing in at about $34,500 and $37,500 respectively. The Fusion compares well price-wise with competitors like the Accord and Camry, though it trails each where resale values are concerned. Choose a basic Fusion and it'll come with manual climate control, a backup camera, an electronic parking brake, eight airbags including front occupant knee airbags, Ford's underappreciated easy fuel capless gas filler and push button start, 
though passive entry will cost you extra. For our money, the SE trim's modest $1,100 premium is a worthwhile spend, adding 17-inch wheels, rear AC vents, LED headlight accents, a six-speaker audio system, and power front seats with adjustable lumbar support for the driver. Move up the Fusion hierarchy and you can indulge in Sony premium audio, leather, dual-zone automatic AC, inflatable rear seat belts, heated and cooled front seats, and SYNC 3 infotainment with an 8-inch screen replacing the base car's tiny 4.2-inch unit. Speaking of SYNC, while previous versions suffered from laggy inputs and a confusing screen layout, SYNC 3 is intuitive, super responsive, and a visual joy to use. Standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto make what is already a delightful infotainment system just that much nicer. Mwah! Oh, that's good infotainment. Oh, no, no, just, hey, I'm calling you. Hey, <laughs> hey that's me. Huh. <laughs> Bolstering the Fusion's technical prowess are add-ons like blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, dynamic cruise control with stop and go abilities, parking sensors, and an automatic parking system that pulls into parking spots so well, there's really no reason not to let Frank Ocean lyrics overwrite your now useless parking skills. The Ford Fusion has its strengths, it also has stout competition, including the fun-to-drive Mazda 6, the broadly competent Honda Accord, the reliable Toyota Camry, the refined Kia Optima, and the eye-catching and exceptionally comfortable Chevy Malibu, among others. Seriously, check out KBB's Midsize Sedan Buyer's Guide for a real sense of your options. The Ford Fusion is not the sportiest, cheapest, largest, or most fuel-efficient midsize sedan you can buy, but it does land at an intriguing intersection where style, Comfort, features, and driving fun collide. And depending on your specific taste, that could be one thrilling collision. 